Hi there, and welcome to this video on conversations on consciousness. My name is Ladrin, and today I'd like to talk to you about psychic exercises. Yeah, how can you become more psychic, more aware? It can take a long time. Like everything, time is a healer, and you know, it, it takes a lot of dedication and time and energy put into anything in life where you can be successful in anything that you do. So, um, no different than somebody going to the gym and wanting to get bigger muscles or have a healthier heart, have a healthier body, lose weight, learn a language, learn a musical instrument, like learn a science, mathematics, equations, everything. Everything in life comes down to practice. So how to become more psychic is quite simple. It's to have like having more awareness and doing exercises. So exercises that I do daily, and I'm always always doing it because I have the free time in my mind whilst I'm like driving and doing other things. I try to predict what is coming next. So for example, it's keeping your mind blank, that's the first step, but also allowing yourself to question like, okay, show me what is next. Now, our whole lives, we are learned to be aware of dangers, you know, traffic coming on the road or, you know, people in our lives or, you know, touching things that are hot since a, since a young person, basically, you know, don't touch the, the hot iron, otherwise you're going to get burnt. Um, be careful of the road safety, uh, sharp knives and all these other things. But like, you know, we have it in tuned in us to become cautious, you know, which is fine. So we are trained in that way since we're very young to, to know about these things, which is very simple. But that's on the physical, mental level. But on the psychic level, then there is another level of awareness of beyond our auric field that we can discover and tune into energies around us. And there are energies. This whole world is beautiful. It's a, it's a playground of energy, of psychic work and multi-dimensions and realities all fabricated in this this plane of existence right here, right now, not where I'm sitting, where exactly where you are right now listening to this. Although I am a memory on this digital memory on, on the internet, I, with me, anybody holds their essence still imprinted in, in their name, in their essence, in their voice. You're tuning in yourself into that energy. So if you were to send me a very deep thought, I'm going to feel it, you know, maybe, maybe not. Um, and it's like that comes with experience, you know, for, for many years I've been exploring different states of consciousness, meditation, our body experiences, like uh, mediumship, physical mediumship, mental mediumship, psychic exercises, remote viewing and readings, like card readings, you know, the list goes on. And it's like, you know, I, I've, I guess I've been in this world, this reality for many years. I'm not saying this physical reality. I'm talking about like this world that I live in, that my mind is very much focused and believes 100% that the realities beyond this physical definitely exist. And for me, as a person that does have psychic experiences, does has, I do have synchronicity, like every day, psychic experiences. I have dreams that come true or, or, you know, premonitions and things. Not all the time, but it does happen. And it's because I've surrounded my world, my understanding, my knowledge in that area. And so my experience with hands-on, like, phenomena and, and readings and things that come true and, you know, it's like I know for sure, for certain, totally, 100%, that what I experience is beyond the mind, which is are other states of consciousness, you know, of the, the, the psychicness. But what is psychicness, you know? Uh, I see it as that we have our non-physical friends, our guides with us all the time. If it's a typical Native American Indian or whatever you perceive guides to be, archangels, angels, whoever it is, it, they're probably just like normal people who have lived normal lives, who understand about life itself and are there to protect you and guide you sometimes. So, you know, our guides are no different than us. They've been through life experiences and they're here to like, you know, help us. So I always see it as that, you know, if we're going down a country lane or a road and we can't see around the corner, 
It's like I'm always tuning in to, this is one exercise that I do, I'm always tuning in like what's around the corner, can I feel what's around there? And most of the time I'm quite correct, you know, and it's like it's about having a, a blank mind and feeling your way. Um, so it's like, how does that happen? How do you feel? It's like, well, I, I believe you, you know, this is me thinking, because I'm not even sure myself, but I'm sure that our senses, our auric field is expanding and tuning into those areas that we cannot physically see and touch yet, but our auric field can. And so those are our, our antennas, our tentacles, if you want to say it. It's like, it's our feelers, you know, our spidey sense. It's really feeling and stretching beyond the body. And so it's, it can feel stuff. It can feel you know, physicality and, and energies and everything. But also it's our connection with our guides as well. Like I'm not really strongly connected with my spirit guide or angels, but I have a sense that I'm being helped and supported and guided. And, you know, on, on, I'm very grateful for them. I, you know, I have so much love for them that they've looked after me all these many, of, many years and given me warnings and signs and allow me to make decisions that I had no idea and then when I did I was like oh that's how I got the feeling so for example you know me this is my life like I live out in the country so country country lanes you can't see what's around the corner there's no street lamps you know it's all dark like and in the day as well you can't really see so you know I, I put my feelers out and I don't go recklessly driving everywhere I just feel like okay is this something around the corner and sometimes intuitively I just end up just putting my foot on the brake a little bit and because I feel that that's the right thing to do and that's when you start to learn and tune in to more your psychic abilities and that's what I do myself is that I become a lot more proficient and more aware because I've allowed myself to concentrate my my actions, my decisions in my actions um, with the feelings that I get. So I believe that perhaps that my guide is probably floating above me and seeing that there's probably a car coming around the other way, around the bend that I can't see. And then he's quickly come back or sent like a thought form, you know, to me to say, hey, slow down, don't go too fast. Or, you know, there's a big wide like lorry, lorry like around the corner, you're not going to make it. Um, and I'm always like, just, you know, because it's a sort of survival thing, you have to be cautious of what's around the corner, like driving. And I think that driving is a really powerful tool for um, allowing us to explore and enhance our psychic abilities and expand our awareness. And I do this most days. I mean, every day I pretty much drive. Um, so sometimes, sometimes not. At this time, the, the pandemic, and yeah, we don't have much of an opportunity to get out. But I'm always trying to feel feel around what is around in the room or beyond and just try and be aware around me. So some exercises that I do, as I said, is like one of them is um, being aware of what's around the corner of like a, a vehicle coming. And then the other one is traffic lights, which is really cool. You, I can almost sense when they're about to change. Now, traffic lights don't have a consciousness, but I believe I'm tuning into the the, the before it happens, you know, the decision, the, the actual time in the future, perhaps, perhaps my mind is traveling a little bit and perceiving that it's going to change. And sometimes I can almost feel when it's going to change itself. And that's the that's when you start to get more of a master level <laughs> at yourself. You know, I'm not saying that I'm a complete psychic and I can predict things, but these exercises help to tune your psyche. As I said at the beginning of this video, like anything, learning to you know, learning a musical instrument, learning to drive, to paint, to learn a language, to do a course on like video editing or anything like that. It's everything comes with time and patience. And there's the same thing with psychic exercises. It's, it's nothing extreme. You just need more practice at it and allowing yourself, you know, one foot in this world and one foot in the other. And, and what to do with that is like, yeah, perhaps meditation, not always, but you can do exercises, you know, to feel energies more so by just you know, if you don't have time to meditate, then meditate in your own way of like, okay, another good thing is like driving, but you know, being in like a blank space in your mind, but like if you have the ability to do so and it's clear. But another place is like cooking, 
ironing, cleaning the house, uh, packing your bag for work or wherever you have to go. Um, and then just having that time for your, for your thoughts. And the reason why is because you, you have both the left brain and the right brain. And the left brain is connected to more the an analytical thinking, the logic, the concern, the, um, you know, the working out. And the right brain is to do with creativity, decision, not decision making, creativity, p passion, feelings, you know. And your right brain is, is connected more to your psychic sort of brain. So when you're using your left brain to do something physical, like ironing, um, gardening, it could be doing some painting, you allow yourself to relax and then keep your mind blank and you start to almost go into a bit of a daydream. And that's when you get ideas, more creativity, because you're, you're then, you're both hemi hemispheres of your brain is balancing and you're getting the right brain. So, for example, driving is a good example because where I live out in the country is big open wide roads, country roads, you know, sometimes you have to go 30 miles per hour, 40, 50, 60 miles per hour. Um, but keeping that awareness of keeping quite aware, at the same time keeping your mind blank. And maybe you can do this, maybe you can't, but everyone pretty much daydreams when they drive because, you know, your mind cannot physically just keep latched onto one thing continuously. You know, you have thoughts in your minds, worries, concerns, excitement, passion, you know, all sorts of things like that. So, yeah, those are my tips is that, you know, these exercises that you can do throughout the day as much as possible, then you're more guaranteed to have that experience on understanding more about energies. Now, another thing as well is that if you are in a workplace or at school, at university, at a college, and you're surrounded by new people, or perhaps you're meeting them, then it's like just tune into the energies, understand and feel what. Hello, I'm back. So what happened was that before I came here and did my videos, I heard, I had a feeling that actually I needed to change the batteries on my, on my, uh, on my, on my microphone. So like I noticed when I went back to just to check that everything was okay because I had that intuition that I lost a lot of sound and I was like, oh no. So <laughs> this is uh, one thing I didn't cover. I, I continued for another five minutes after that and I've probably lost. So I'm gonna try and remember um, what, what I had said at the end. So basically with psychic experiences, you know, psychic awareness, you can, um, I'm trying to remember everything now, it's about exercising your psyche. It's no different than going to the gym, no, no different than, um, no different than, um, you know, doing anything in life. It's just, it's persistent and working hard at it. And you'll never lose it either. Like, the good thing about psychic experiences and psychic awareness, it's like, when you go to the gym, you know, you lose a bit of, like strength or body mass but not everything you know you keep some sort of your physique the same with you know psychic exercise you're always going to use it in some way not always to the 100 percent if you like do a lot of readings um sessions on people for mediumship you're never going to 100 percent like lose it but you know your mind is something that is always active every day and always tuning into things so it's it's always going to be there what i was saying at the end of the video was that always validate what you are experiencing. So good things, um, really good exercises to do is development circles. So we really encourage that here at the retreat as well, is that, you know, getting into groups, you know, at least seven people, you can do less. I know these times of the pandemic and lockdowns and stuff isn't so great. Um, it's not so helpful. However, it, it, it is possible, you know, with a small group of people or your family, just sit down like once a week, you know, every Sunday for like, I don't know, a couple of hours at seven o'clock and just sit, you sit in darkness and just meditate together. And, you know, you keep that up, then the spirit world around is going to know what you're doing and it's gonna like, okay, they they wanna communicate. So let's, let's try and communicate. And it's very, very powerful. But what I'm saying is that always validate what is going on. So. If suddenly you are picking up on someone smoking cigars and you're like, oh, I'm getting a spirit around me. It might not be that. Validate. Do your findings. Look look around. See if anybody is outside like smoking and you're most likely 
see if there is somebody smoking outside or it is inside if it's something, something that's happening. Um, I had an experience um, quite a few years ago where I was wearing this, I was wearing a t-shirt and a jumper over it and every time um, the person kept taking a photo he thought something was very special about me like I had a special energy because every time he took a photo on the on the photo from the flash came this orb on my shoulder all the time all the time he's like you've got a, you've got your guide with you and I was like no what's that on the camera I was really eager to know that I wasn't doubting but I was like something else is going on here so I remember taking off my jumper after like an hour and having a look and I had like a reflective tag like um, a brand on it by energy funny enough um, on my shoulder I believe it was on my shoulder and there was this small tag that was coming through my my jumper it was picking up the light and I was like ah I found my guide it's it's not what you thought it was you know I I did this code with my hand and then it didn't show then I took my hand away I said now take the photo and it, it was back so it's like sometimes we can believe so much what is you know beyond the body beyond the mind and it sometimes isn't so I can't remember if I touched up on because um, I've lost I can't remember everything I've always said um, is that one good exercise that I do is driving you know feeling what's around the corner you know tuning traffic lights is a really good one um, you can try the lottery no you don't have to always play but it's something you can you know practice you might feel bad if you do win so that's sometimes the downside but it is possible and sometimes I have done the lottery before where I've got pretty much every number right but the, in the wrong order so I've had like number 21 and 12 came up or I've had like 1 and 0 came up like um, sorry I had 1 and number 10 came up for example so things like that or you might see similarities in numbers and you're like oh if only they were changed around the right way and I'll be a millionaire but you know this is this isn't what psychic experience um, you know abilities are used for. I mean, if you're using the money for good, then then great. But however, you know, I must stress that you know our abilities are really to they're not just for this lifetime. They're for many other lifetimes. You know, helping us understand the whole energy and our energy system, and perfecting ourselves, becoming the best version of ourselves, which isn't always easy. It can be very difficult to do, but with time it you know you, you can get there so be patient that is the best thing I can recommend is be patient and time if you rush something if it is hard then it's gonna be hard you know if you rush really too hard with it it's gonna be very difficult so don't do that <laughs> it's as simple as that basically so yeah with psychic exercises just all I can say is really practice I, I did a really good talk earlier than my my audio mic cut off out the batteries so I uh, again I followed through I I got the message earlier I got new batteries to take with me here in my bag in in, in this room that I you know stay in to, uh, to to do these videos but then like I didn't put them in into the the microphone basically so it's like you know you can feel you can hear you can get the message but then do you follow through and that's something I fail on a lot of the times is that I get the message or the all the thought form in my mind and then like I don't always follow through and it's like that I think that's the next step is like you get it but then it's like okay acting upon it you know because how many thoughts do we get in a, in a day where we think about something very minute very small and then suddenly it just gets like you know forgotten about or it gets pushed aside and it's usually the the things that you know that are beyond the body are usually things that you beyond what you think so if you're just relaxing sitting watching tv and your mind starts wandering and going blank i mean when i start to read i start to daydream because i'm not a reader i can read i'm not stupid <laughs> it's just i am um, i don't find it great for me you know i just start you know daydreaming more so that's when I start to like meditate a little bit better. So anyway, I hope this video has helped. I probably like missed a bunch of stuff, a number of five minutes or so that um, has now will never be heard because the microphone's plugged into my camera and you're never going to be able to hear it again. So with that, all I can say is just keep the practice, never give up, 
uh, never give up trying or doing and you're going to see progress. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. I um, hope you can hear me <laughs> and uh, I'll speak to you next time. Goodbye.